I'm glad you asked. We've been doing this for years. Let's see what Carlos Marquez said. The Negro type is seen in the most ancient Mexican sculpture. The Negro figure frequently in the most remote tradition of some of America's pueblos. It is to this race that only belongs the most ancient skeletons distinct from the red American race, which have been found in various places from Bolivia to Mexico. It is likely that we repeat America was a Negro continent. I'll get out the way so you can screenshot that for yourself, boss. Now, I know we got a couple Mexican people on here who are mixed with the Mongolian. So you know Latin. But you think that you're the original or Aboriginal. This is a book that's in Spanish for you. It says in this document that before y'all came here, and that's everybody, because we're the only ones that are not immigrants. But before you got here, it says that America was occupied by an inferior race of Negro types. And when they say inferior, that means we cared about shit. And we didn't only want death and destruction. We was in harmony with nature considered as belonging to a black race. For example, I'll get out the way so you can screenshot this document. Now, and as you can see here, the inhabitants use among many tribes of red paint to brown skin, which occasions a coppery hue. We consider therefore says this doctor that the color of the American Indians in general is brown here's a couple more documents why do I have to keep telling you this it's getting old I'm gonna keep going this is a picture of the people that Columbus brought back to Spain with him. As you can see, he is kissing the king and queen's hands and you see clearly the American Indian. I'll get out the way so you can screenshot it. Now, do you see Mongolians? No, you don't. Here's another image. This guy ain't ready. Peace to the gods and the goddesses of this land.